Mixtures and Separation Techniques, colon. Mixtures are two or more substances combined. They are mixed together physically. Keep that in mind. Each of the components keeps the original properties and separation can be done to reveal their identities. There are two main types of mixtures, the homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. A homogeneous appears uniform, example is the air, a heterogeneous is not uniform like combining apple and pear. Now when it comes to the separation techniques, we must first determine the properties of the ones we seek. Let's go through each one, let's make it quick, so the most appropriate way at the end of this you can pick. These techniques will help you when you are searching for some materials, it could be anything. Okay, first, manual segregation of solids is called hand picking. Separate stones from marbles, yes, that's fitting. When you separate using a filter, it is called filtration. It is used to separate seeds from juice concentration. Magnets can be used, it's called magnetic separation. Separation of plastic beads and iron filings is a demonstration. When particles settle out of the fluid, it is called sedimentation. An example is when sand settles at the bottom of the container. Then if you want to pour out the water, the process is decantation. Now the sand is in the old container, what's transferred is the water. It is centrifugation when liquid with different densities are rotated. This is used when fat is removed from milk. It is chromatography when different pigments are separated. Now you can see different colors from your black ink. When liquid turns to gas and leaves the solid behind, it is called evaporation. Example is when you want to get salt from water. When liquid turns to vapor and condenses back, it is called distillation. This is useful if you want to collect purified water.